Good morning, everyone. It's Daphne from Scrap and Create. Yay! And we're here doing six and seven of life's vignettes. This is a blue fern collection, and I'm woefully behind on getting stuff out uh, due to some irritating health issues, um, but I seem to be on the mend now. So I've got these both laid out, and I'm going to show you um, what I did offline. I went ahead and put the bases down for both of these. So I use these two butterfly patterns. They're both from the 8x8 collection pack. I think they look beautiful side by side. So the way I've constructed the design for this is to design around this uh, element here. This one has a repeated pattern, so I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, I do think there's going to be some peaks of the butterflies. But again, I'm going to try to use this swath um, for photos and, and leave this out as a um, broad design element. I am going to use photo mats as I have in all the other ones. I've texturized the um, white cardstock that lays on top. And as I've mentioned before, anything that's sort of an organic shape, waves, um, circles, um, ovals, anything like that, stay away from hard edges, uh, geometric shapes, triangles, rectangles, that kind of thing. Um, this is four by six, four by six. This is um, a cardstock back ephemera card that comes from uh, one of the um, accessory packs. And I can't remember the name of it. There are three, there's bits, bobs, there's uh, ephemeras, and then there's um, ephemera die cuts. And I think this is the ephemera, but I'm, I'm not positive. I opened these um, several months ago and started this project and then had to set it aside to reprioritize. So I've lost track of some of that. So I am gonna use it sort of as a backing here. Um, I think it's really pretty. Um, so I, I like that, but I don't wanna, like I said, cover up too much of this. So I'm looking at it as such. And then I like these two little, um, tickets um, and part of the reason I'm partial to this is it's pulling in more of the blue which I plan to do on this side as well and so I'm just uh, bending up these little tabs because that's where I'm going to adhere it so those will be the, the pieces that are kind of down um, so that I can create this little um, swoop so that it's not completely flat and they they will be offset like so so that's what I have designed so far for this page. So I'm going to go ahead and get that laid down. And then I'm probably going to do something else. I just don't know what. It might be with um, twine or some lace or something like that. I haven't quite decided. <clears throat> and I like this because it's pulling out the pink there. Lovely, lovely. Okay. And I might uh, add some uh, butterflies or something like that. Oh, sorry about that. <clears throat> I think I want to attach these together first. and then apply them as a set. Yeah, It takes a second for them to glue because um, they're kind of a, a glossy finish. Feels really nice actually. Reminds me of like a high-end uh, magazine. So, meaning that there's not a lot of tooth on the paper. Which gives you a little more time to play with the glue. The more tooth or the more texture, the faster it absorbs into the paper. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and lay out this side too so that I can look at them side by side and make my last uh, minute decisions. So I'm planning on doing that. Uh, this is um, one of the ephemera, or actually I think it's a die cut and I just cardstock backed it. So we're gonna offset that. I've got this uh, tag, um, which I thought was really cute. And then I've stapled um, a piece of uh, lace here, or crochet. I don't really know what to call that. And then I'm gonna use this. And then I've got um, this little um, blue piece that I fussy cut. It's actually part of a, a larger die cut 
and I just fussy cut off the piece that I wanted. Let me see if I can find the flowers. So as you can see, there's lots of goodies to, to use to uh, accentuate your page. So now I want to try to figure this out. Okay, so I know I want this here. So let's go ahead and get that down. And then I've got this little blue fussy cut flower. I can't find the second half of it, but I think it's really cute. And it pulls this blue back in. So you can see that we're starting to create some balance. Now I need something maybe a little darker. So let's see what we've got over here that is the right scale. I wish it had more frames because I think frames are really fun to work with. But I don't. I don't care for that too much. This is one of the frames, but it doesn't seem to work. I have to use a smaller. It's so ornate, it doesn't seem to go with the rest of it. looks kind of shabby chic to me. struggling because I really don't want to cover up that butterfly. Maybe if I half cover it. It's a maybe, but not for sure. I'm missing a tray of um, my flowers, which is what I'm kind of looking for at the moment. Here they are, They're underneath the butterflies. So we can do butterflies for sure. Oh, here's the other half of that. That's how it went. And it, as you can see, that's too big to go there. <coughs> oh, I don't have a lot of flowers left. There's a ton of butterflies though. So I could do something that too green. It needs to be a blue butterfly. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to use this. Like so. And then I've got this piece with this butterfly, so I'm just gonna fussy cut it off. And 
Let's see if I like that. And then add the butterfly back on. What do you guys think? I actually think I like it better over here. Well, as you guys all know, this is just a lot of fussing around until you find the combination you're happy with. Maybe this is what I'm trying to force, I'm not happy with. <clears throat> I need something here though. So I'm going to cut this in half and see what I think. It's hard to do, but I'm going to. What do you guys think? I like it. We're going to do it. So I'm going to straighten out my cut, and that's what we're doing. I wanted to use one of these. I like the, so we have the butterfly. Yeah, I like that. Beautiful. Let's get it in and put it down. I like it. There it is. Okay. Don't need that. Uh, I think I do want this tucked in somewhere. I think 
I like it right there. Okay. Let's see. You may want to consider adding foam beneath the wings um, to keep them uh, from just being loose like this um, so that when you close your pages they don't snag on stuff. I'm not going to do anything with them until I put the pages in the book and figure out if there's interference on the cross page and if there is then I will figure out ways to further secure the wings so that they don't get tangled up or torn when opening and closing the pages. But that's page uh, six page six, page seven, and I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. I just realized I'm missing, this is this is what I was going to put right here. <laughs> I remember now, and I think I still will. Smiles and sunshine. There you go. Okay, now we're all done. As done as I'm going to be. Okay, so when I get back, we will work on page eight.